We start tonight with a story you'll see only on four. A man is dead after police say he forced his way into another man's home in Chickasha. News 4's Natalie Clydesdale has been on the scene all day and she has the update. Well, the Chickasha police chief tells me the homeowner knew the man who broke into his house in just seconds after the intruder got inside. He was greeted by gunfire. I mean, it was just pop, 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 pop. I mean, just, just, just as, you know, as quick as someone could squeeze a trigger. It was very scary. <laughs> yeah, I was, I, I actually started shaking. Gunshots ringing out and rattling those who live on Westbrook Street in Chickasha. So it's a little nerve wracking. Just after 1230 this afternoon. And our officers received a call of a domestic disturbance at 3015 Westbrook um, in which a subject had broken into the home. As the subject made entry into the home, the homeowner opened fire. I mean, it happened so fast. I walked outside and could smell gunpowder right away. More than a dozen shell casings were left scattered all over the floor. I heard uh, rounds being fired off, uh, sound between 10 to 15 rounds. The intruder was pronounced dead at the scene. His exact relationship to the homeowner isn't clear, but the Chickasha police chief confirms the two did know each other. Why the man broke in is also still being investigated by the department. So once we notify next of kin, we may be able to release more details, but it's going to take some time and in investigation. The Chickasha police chief says whether or not the homeowner will face charges is up to the district attorney. We're told more details about the incident will be released later this week. In Chickasha, Natalie Clydesdale, Oklahoma's News 4. And